For many, it's a dreaded time of the year, tax season, but this year comes with even more questions as federal lawmakers consider tweaking the tax code even after so many have already filed. News 5's Clay Lepard has the latest on the headache behind this bill, a bill, though, that could help parents and small businesses if it passes. We had to get things done. Ray Meese filed his taxes two weeks ago. Needed that money right then. Might as well get it out of the way. And in the interest of his stress level, he'd rather not think about it again. But he and many others who already filed likely could, depending on what happens in Washington. Last month, the U.S. House of Representatives passed a bill that would increase the refundable child tax credit by $200 per child. It would also provide support for small and private business. Here's the issue. If this bill were to become law, it would actually impact this past tax year. You know, the one we're all filing right now. Meaning any tax returns already filed wouldn't be up to date. We've got basically 45 days to file tax returns and we don't know what the current law is. A bit of uncertainty for local CPA Harry Slocum, who says the bill could make a big difference for some returns. He says their firm is preparing tax returns the way things stand right now but hopes a decision from Congress one way or the other happens soon. So if the Senate makes any changes, it's got to go back to the House for approval. And once all of that happens, now you've got software developers that have to update the software along with the IRS to update their software so we can file returns. So we're kind of running out of time. I just want to confirm a few details with you. It's a topic that came up earlier this month at an IRS oversight hearing. The IRS commissioner issued assurances that if the bill passes, they should be able to issue any refunds six to 12 weeks later. Taxpayers should not wait for this legislation to file their returns. We will take care of getting any additional refunds to taxpayers who have already filed. A check in the mail or a direct deposit into his bank account that Ray Meese would certainly welcome. I could use that extra money. That would go a long, a long way for help, helping with bills. That is, if Congress passes it into law. Well, I believe it when I see it. <laughs> I believe it when I see it. In Cuyahoga County, Clay Lepard, News 5. So in case you forgot, tax day is April 15th. If you need help filing your taxes, you'll recall uh, anchor Mike Brookbank told us about the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program where families and individuals who make less than $64,000 a year are eligible to have um, some help there. We have those details in his story on our News 5 app and website.